Okay, so I came in to work today on Saturday. Normally I'm not here, but got a ton of work, so I've got to get in here. Um, this just kind of quick tip on uh, replacing a fuel filter on a you know Duramax diesel, and that's you know kind of true from um, you know 2001 the LB7s all the way up to uh, 2016 the LMLs. So. Um, I don't usually hook up a pressure gauge, but I'm going to you know, use this as an example. So you can do this anytime you're replacing a fuel filter or let's say you're not paying attention, you ran the truck out of gas, you're going to have to prime the system. So here's the trick. And if you look down inside here, and I should really grab a light. And it's kind of hard to see, but there is a bleed screw, and a lot of people use that. But what I'm just going to use is the primer. And I'm going to prime this. Let me, you know, move this out to the gauge, and I'm building up pressure. And the idea is, I'm going to have to fill up the whole fuel filter with fuel. And, you know, once it stays full, then I'm going to be able to start the truck. So what I used to do was, you know, do this, prime it, start it up, uh, you know, prime it, go back and start it, or have somebody pumping, uh, you know, the prime to keep it running. And if you do this correctly, it's just going to continue to run. And also, uh, you know, the idea is, you know, diesel fuel lubricates a high-pressure pump, the CP3 pump on this. You know, GM had very few problems with CP3 pumps, once they went to a CP4, then all of a sudden, uh, you know, a lot of problems started happening, and, uh, you know, it's usually starvation of fuel. But the couple things I'm doing, I want to look for any leaks, and I see a little bit of leak by the heater assembly on this, and it might not show up on the camera, but, uh, you know, there is a little bit of a leak. It's actually seeming to hold pressure fairly well. And what you're gonna see on the gauge is, while you're priming the system, you're gonna actually have pressure. Uh, the high pressure pump, CP3 pump, creates a vacuum and pulls uh, you know, fuel from the tank. So you know, there's not a lift pump like what might be used on other vehicles, although uh, you know, GM, once it went to, uh, you I think it's the L5P engine in 2017, they went to a lift pump, and I'm kind of thinking that has something to do with some of the catastrophic fuel system failures that they were having. And actually, I've got a truck in the shop right now that going through the whole fuel system on a LML. So let me pump this again. I'm going to put the camera down. Or, hang on one second. And I believe GM says uh, they want you to at least uh, you know, develop 10 inches of vacuum on the, uh, uh, or actually, uh, you know, 10 inches of, uh, you know, pressure when you're priming the system. And this is, uh, you know, right there. So I'm going to go start this truck, and I'm kind of expecting that's just going to, you know, stay running at this particular point.
Kind of always love when our clients are together. Might not be able to hear me over the uh, back of the center. Uh, LB7 is kind of noisy, but uh, now it's actually developing a, a vacuum, and that's uh, pretty much normal with a new filter. 